Mackenzie had stomach aches all the time. I kept throwing up and missed a lot of school because my stomach didn't feel right. We started figuring out something was wrong. I just want to go to school and be normal and not miss so much. When I first started to notice, I was about five or six, and there was burning in my throat. And then when I started to get more sick with my stomach, I was around six or seven. What they thought was happening when she was six was that she had um, acid reflux. So then they put her on the Prevacid for about two years. And then when they started trying to take her off the Prevacid, is when we really started having issues. In second grade, I only weighed 30 pounds because I'd always be throwing up and I would lose a lot of weight. That's when they finally sent us up to Dr. Hernandez. Mackenzie came with different gastrointestinal complaints and those symptoms persisted for about a year. We decided to, to do an endoscopy to evaluate her. They figured out like I had celiac disease. We had never really heard of celiac before. Celiac disease is an autoimmune disease where the small intestine is actually damaged by the person eating gluten-containing foods. I wasn't depressed, but I was sad that I couldn't eat like donuts and stuff. Gluten is the protein part of certain grains. It's in wheat, rye, and barley. I think I went crazy and filled the kitchen with every kind of gluten-free food there was. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's really happy about the corn yes. checks. Yeah. Yeah. Carrie Ack explained everything like what wheat was and what gluten was and that how it was bad for me. As soon as you made the change, she would actually finish a meal without complaining that her stomach was hurting or right. anything. I started growing taller right away and I gained weight like I normally should have. And I started catching up to my friends with height. Hello. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. Her mom and dad have been great. I mean, I think that's really what a lot of the reason why she's done really well. They're very proactive. Uh, my mom went gluten-free with me because I didn't want to be alone. It was just very hard at first, but then she made it better. When you're baking cookies and stuff, if you're using some of the gluten-free flours, they're kind of grainy. And so we found this flour online that we really like. So once she started finding things that Mackenzie liked and reminded her of, you know, the food she could eat before it all started, that's what made a relief to her. But, you know, when I made her cookies with this flour, she said, Mom, it tastes just like it used to. So that was, that was a big deal. These are my gluten-free roll-ups. They're very good. These are just regular old grapes. And I brought gluten-free cookies for everyone. Becca, Erin, most people that have celiac disease do not know that they have it. And in children, we worry a lot about their growth and the long-term um, problems that can come if the celiac disease is not found and diagnosed. The Pediatric Celiac Center at Advocate Children's Hospital, we help with the families from day number one. When they get the diagnosis, we will help them to navigate through those labels and uh, through the grocery stores, help them navigating as well through the restaurants, how to ask uh, for the gluten-free meal. So this chicken mix is kind of nice, it's just chicken breast. I am not scared about my celiac anymore. Um, I don't feel different because my friends are always there. And it's, there are worse things that could happen to you. So celiac is just one little thing. Everybody at Advocate is committed to making her feel good. They were committed to finally finding the treatment that made her feel totally 100% well.